I'm live. What's up, Internet? I'm Matt Gough from House.com. How you guys doing? Uh, we are going to try a new uh, series of live stream style videos. Um, I'm super stoked that you guys uh, watch our uh, product reviews and are kind of engaging in some of the new stuff that we're doing, stuff like this, Drops of the Week. Um, I'm going to select five kind of products uh, throughout the season to showcase that I'm really stoked on. And uh, we're going to kind of just like dive right in. If, feel free to leave any comments or questions. Um, we're going to be trying to do this every Thursday at about 1230 uh, p.m. Central Standard Time. So hopefully we'll catch you guys right around your lunch break, whether you're at school or whether you're at, uh, at work. And um, thanks for kind of like chiming in. First up, starting out. Is this one right here? Uh, this is a, a new boot to the Vans line for 2019. Uh, this right here is called the High Standard Linerless OG. Uh, this is a linerless, that's right, linerless style boot um, uh, that they've only done, I think, once before. It was in the early 90s. It was called the Vans Lemming, and they decided to bring it back. But this season for 2019, they have actually a, a heat moldable style liner. So uh, you can heat mold these conform to your foot. But another rad thing about it is you don't need a heat molder to have them conform to your foot because they're body heat activated too. Uh, they have a traditional laces, a power strap up on top. You don't even have to use that thing. I generally like power straps and like my, the top of my boots to be super tight and the lower section to be a little bit loose for a better board feel or a better circulation. But um, the linerless boot is going to be pretty soft uh, laterally and both medially uh, and does feature a vulcanized style looking outsole. This is uh, rubber, of course, inverted waffle sole, great tread. Uh, but overall, it's a pretty lightweight boot, heat moldable and linerless. That's actually the kind of like the first uh, pick of my drops of the week. These are all kind of in random order. So one's not better than the other. These are just kind of like the five top overall. Next up is the, the Giro contact goggle. This is a goggle that I rode a lot of uh, last season until I drove over them with my car unintentionally. Uh, the contacts actually come with two lenses that are Zeiss lenses. Um, this one is actually kind of like a, a fire chrome with a darker style uh, uh, rose and this one's just kind of a, a regular style chrome with a lighter style rose. The cool part about it is they have like this little button up on top It's called snapshot that releases uh, the little hook lever that you see kind of like right there um, There's six velcro or a six uh, uh, Magnetic pieces there and it's actually really easy to uh, put them back in but remember to like push down that little snapshot lock They lock them back in place. So that's like kind of like the second pick of the week um, uh, The contacts actually come with two uh, like kind of lens carry cases um, one is for just like probably when you're when you're riding it actually has two little spots inside this little mesh style wall to Separate the sections and then there's this I'm actually really stoked on this It has a kind of nice little contour that matches to the same shape of the lenses um, Use this for when you travel whether you're putting it in your backpack or travel bag check luggage or uh, just kind of wherever You could probably put it into your goggle pocket inside your jacket because it wraps nicely around your ribs But just don't fall on them cool part about it is they have a, a nice perimeter padding around the front and the back the back side actually Actually has a little mesh and then there's an internal wall with padding too and then uh, kind of around the perimeter is this kind of like stretchy piece so if you have a, maybe a couple lenses that you want to separate you could probably put a couple in there and then there's a nice little toggle uh, but the biggest thing isn't the goggle case it's how rad these goggles are again with Zeiss lenses Zeiss makes some of the best lenses out there in the world and then of course uh, moving into a second uh, the third thing this is a collab from 686 this is a Coors Light, uh, the Silver Bullet, right out of the Rockies. And uh, they actually have three, I believe, three different uh, pieces within the collection uh, of the collaboration between 686 and uh, Coors Light. Uh, one is these mittens. These have a 10,000, 10,000 breathable waterproof rating, of course. Uh, interior tricot lining with a kind of open style uh, uh, finger area. So it doesn't, it's not separated like gloves. Um, and they also have a... a a fitted style waterproof hat and a riding hoodie, which is pretty dope. So if you like Coors Light, I love it. Drink it with the boys. And uh, 686, this is a really awesome collab to kind of check out. Uh, moving into uh, colder weather and sloppy weather in the fall uh, here in North America, we have uh, a good transition boot from your skate shoes into what is going to be winter pretty soon. This is the Danner Mountain 600. It's a performance heritage piece. There, it kind of has, it looks like an old school kind of hiking boot, full green leather upper, contrasting red laces, gusseted tongue, removable ortho light footbed, and then updates along the bottom. This is a lightweight EVA midsole, little heel cradle, and then a Vibram style outsole. So as the weather starts to turn a little wet and a little bit colder, you want to get out of your skate shoes and get into something like this. 
That's, this is a, probably one of the best choices out there. This is the Danner Mountain 600. And then we have the 2019 uh, Burton Malavita. This is a dope binding. Uh, it's been upgraded this year with a super grip cap strap 2.0. It's new from uh, upgraded from last year. It has a nylon style perimeter and then urethane style webbing uh, material in the upper uh, medial section and then along the bottom side. So this conforms to a lot of different shapes of boots. That's what Burton had in mind. It's like, well, every boot makes a different kind of toe box. They have different kind of material. Um, we need to make a, a strap that's better than a super grip uh, that works just uh, in grips a little bit better. And they did that with a 2.0 version. They still have the uh, asymmetrical hammock strap. This is a mold injected. Uh, it has a living style hinge, so it actually opens up nice. Um, B3 gel and heel area, hammock strap or hammock heel. And uh, the Model V is a binding that you'll see a lot of park riders ripping around in. It's super comfortable, super shock absorbing, of course. Um, but you can still free ride in this thing. If you're an all-mode free rider, like side hits, jumping off cat tracks, things like that, uh, Malavita is a really awesome choice. That's not too stiff or reactive of a binding. So we're going to kind of walk through, again, the top picks of the week. We started out with the Vans uh, Langerless DX. is a high standard, heat moldable, super dope, super dope skate style feel. Uh, Giro contact lenses or goggles with uh, removable style lenses that are Zeiss. Silver Bullet Collab, uh, Coors Light and 686 Mittens, awesome. And the Danner Mountain 600 uh, Performance Heritage Style Boots. And then lastly, of course, that Mala Vida. Uh, these are all stoked out products that I'm just amped on. Uh, make sure to check out more stuff that we're going to kind of do um, throughout the season. Again, we're going to be kind of doing these uh, top picks every Thursday, right around 12.30 or so. Um, so start staying tuned. If you have comments or questions, of course, like leave them in the comment sections below. And um, yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that already, subscribe. Um, we do a lot of product video reviews, uh, and we're going to start doing some new things with some riders and trying to engage some of like the, the live audience here. So thanks for being here. Thanks for taking time out of your day to say what's up. I'm GovFromTheHouse.com. Hopefully I'll see you guys on Snow. Peace.